He draws large crowds and says he'll decrease inequalities. Gustavo Petro has a big lead in the polls as Colombia prepares to stage its presidential election on Sunday. The senator is a former member of a rebel group, and he could become the first leftist president in a country that has been governed for decades by politicians aligned with the nation's rich and powerful families. We propose a country where basic rights, like health and education, are guaranteed, with a productive economy that can finance them. Petro wants to increase the state's role in the economy and also describes himself as an environmentalist. He's promised to suspend investment in oil projects and replace them with cleaner forms of energy. The candidate says that the government will provide jobs to anyone who can't find work. He also wants to revise international trade deals and protect local farmers from foreign competition. I think this is a historic opportunity for our country to be ruled by someone who doesn't come from the corrupt and powerful families. He represents the broader interest of society. Petro's rise in popularity comes as Colombia's economy struggles to bounce back from the COVID-19 pandemic. Over 80 percent of Colombians feel the country is going in the wrong direction. They feel dissatisfied with corruption, with security, with their ability to pay for everyday staples, and they're fed up. And so Petro promises change, uh, and that appeals to a lot of people in Colombia right now. Petro will be competing against five other candidates who propose less far-reaching changes to the economy. His main rival is currently Federico Gutierrez, a former mayor of Medellin, who said he will make it easier to start businesses and will generate employment by bringing in more foreign investment. Of course we need change, but that change has to come with responsibility, not by taking a leap into the unknown like what has occurred in other countries. For Gutierrez's supporters, Petro is promising too many welfare programs. Petro has no way to finance everything he has promised. It is a populist discourse that could end up hurting the economy. The latest polls suggest that Petro will get around 40 percent of the votes on Sunday, while Gutierrez will get 25 percent. If nobody gets at least half of the overall vote, there will be a runoff in June between the top two contenders. That's where the ability to build alliances with smaller parties and address voters' fears will be critical. Manuel Rueda, TRT World, Bogotá.